Good evening, we are Terry and Joy Stauffer. This is our second year attending the um, Pro-Am with the NCCAA. Our first year going there, we were kind of wondering what it'd be like. We, we knew there'd be great golf. We knew it was gonna be a beautiful resort. We knew there's gonna be people that we wanna get to know. But we kind of had a plan. We kind of had an idea of what it would look like. We just didn't really know exactly what it was going to be. I've known about the Pro-Am for several years um, because I was um, a part of some of the Christian schools that are members of the NCCAA. I would be remiss to not mention Vicki Denny. After the Pro-Am in 2019, she sent me a text and said, I really think you and Terry should consider coming next year. Within a very short time, we decided, yes, that's how we're gonna celebrate our anniversary. God knew that at his time, he would allow me to be here. And so I'm thankful and committed to attend on a regular basis. You know, I'm sure as you sit there watching this, you're probably thinking about how you planned out what this is gonna look like, what you're gonna do, what you're gonna wear, where you're gonna to sit to eat, you know, you kind of have an idea. What I want you to think about is how many times in life where God interrupts our plan and God inserts his game plan and it's so much better than ours. So last October was our first time attending the Pro-Am and I certainly enjoyed playing golf all three days with Terry. But rest assured, there are plenty of things to do. Um, ladies, if you don't play golf, there are plenty of um, ladies events. It's a very family oriented event. There's things for the children as well. So certainly avail yourself to all the opportunities that the Pro-Am provides. Make sure you take some time early in the morning with a good cup of coffee to walk out on your balcony and watch the sun rise up over the Atlantic. It's such a peaceful time. Time to decompress, get away from life's struggles and hassles, but also get involved in meeting new people. Put yourself out there. Go and sit down at a table where you don't know anybody and introduce yourself. What you'll find is that the people here are so welcoming and warm, understanding. They want to get to know you. You'll want to get to know them because you'll become lifelong friends after this event. So I guess what I would say in thinking about how we plan our steps and plan our ways just be open to allow God to change that plan because God's game plan is better than our plan. Sure is. <laughs>